for the device medical device group, we, we did have an OKR for 2022. Our objective is to enable the device standardization effort to be interoperable with OMAP to support large scale device data analysis. And the key results include first survey the current practice with within the Odyssey community for device specific data and the device generated data for real world evidence generation. Second, to define the method to access, assess and harmonize standards to be included in the OMOP vocabulary for device data. And we actually, the members are developed, discussing an um, objective two, which is related with the uh, following items that I will discuss. So the, the whole group um, eventually evolved into developing three subgroups. One of them is device specific data team. So we identified two leaders, Kerry from a Symmetrics, Symmetric Health Solution and Anthony from J&J to work on uh, device specific data. And uh, we have um, identified 10 device areas. Uh, listed on the left side and our topic our interest is do we come how do we looking at those device areas and to see if there's a need to extend the cdm or vocabulary by starting from um, converting the native device data into the cdm and then we have another group um, called the device generated data team and this team is led by Manik and uh, Andrew from PAFTS. We also have a um, device adverse events team, which we're looking for the co-leads and this, team's, this team is related with our objective uh, too, that is uh, by looking for how do we uh, leverage the OMOP to do some device related adverse events analysis. I know in our group we have a lot of people who are interested in this, but we, we haven't found the people who want to um, take a lead for the co-chair co for this team yet. So that will be for 2023. Um, the, the goal will be continuing forming those subgroups and team or teams and determine the OKR for each team increasing the meeting frequency and I hope that we can eventually submit at least one or poster to the symposium in 2023. So with that I'm ending my updates and I welcome oh yeah I, I need to re tell the community that we re we need people to join us and uh, thank you so much. Well let me end my and my sharing. Hey, Asya, thank you very much. Now, I believe I believe the next meeting is set for uh, 2023, right? I don't think there are there any more of your work group meetings this year. No, we we don't. Right, you're okay. So I think yeah. your first one is in January. So we'll make sure to highlight that. But uh, if the call frequency does change, please do let us know. Yes. Well, right. some of those subgroups will be meeting, and so I think the the frequency will be in part a result of having separate meetings for the different subgroups, and there probably will be at least for the device generated one one before the end of the year. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we are working on in the in the back end to try to make uh make the subgroups. Uh, coming like start from next year, and uh, if I miss anything, like Andrew or An Anthony who is on the call, please add. No, you did great. No, I, I will okay. just add if any, if anyone's interested in if you if you if you have device data, native data, and if you're interested in converting to the CDM, please join the device data subgroup. Um, we've reached out to some people already who are using native device data, but they don't use the CDM. <laughs> and so they thought that was a reason not to join, but that's exactly the reason to join. So if you're curious, to, if you think standardizing device data is a good idea, we encourage you to join the uh, device data subgroup. Thanks. 
Thank you.